I'll go to the issue of Sal and complainant Larry Gadon has filed even a criminal graft complaint against you kasi daw may missing Sal and hindi nila mahanap. The U UP doesn't have it, Ombudsman doesn't have it daw. Ma'am, did you or did you not file your Sal on this period? Ah, maganda. Abangan nyo yan sa Senado. Maganda po yung mangyayari dyan sa Senado tungkol dyan sa issue na yan. So you're confident you'll be able to explain this? Yes. Ma'am, if I may... Push, kasi pag SALN sa utak ng mga Pilipino, they immediately connected to SALN, hidden wealth, corruption. Would you want to address them right now about whether or not you hid wealth from them? Nakita na ng taong bayan ang bahay ko. Alam ng lahat kung paano kami mamuhay. Walang mahanap na hidden wealth. Anong itatago ko ang pinakamalaking kinita namin e eh, galing sa gobyerno, reported sa BIR, reported sa COA, fully paid ang taxes, kaming mag-asawa, wala namang kaming kayang itagong kahit atong kayamanan. Open book ang aming buhay. Pero imo, pitong taon na, ito isipin mo na lang liyan. Pitong taon na nila akong binabantayan very closely. Yung mga nagsasabi na kailangan akong bantayan, alam mo naman natin siguro kung sino yung mga yan. Pitong taon at siguro kalahating, pitot kalahating taon na, walang makita ni bahid ng korupsyon. So siguro, uh, mas, mas maganda pang istorya ang pwede nating ilahad. Pwede ba nating sabihin? Pwede ba nating gawin ang standard? Eh talagang lahat ng mga high officials, eh talagang ipakita ang pamumuhay nila? And now, ma'am, the House Justice Committee has ordered the BIR to launch an official investigation into your tax compliance. Okay. Ayoko kasing pangunahan ng lawyers ko, no? Meron silang uh, mga issuances na ilalabas. So, abangan natin. Siguro, either today, next week, merong, merong response ang, mga, ang legal team. Tiyan. Ma'am, you said kanina, pitong taon ka nang binabantayan. Sino pong nagpapabantay sa inyo? Palagay ko alam ng taong bayan kung sino-sino mga interesado na malaman ang pumumuhay ng isang husgado na nagsisabing independent ako. At that, from the time I uh, had all my, I had my interview before the JBC when I was uh, being asked, uh, when I was being considered for the position of Associate Justice, I have always maintained that I will be because I know how to stand on my values and I made a full disclosure of what that value system consists of. I will remain independent and I have maintained that to this very day. Mom, you were quoted to have said in a conference in a church event po ata that you said that um, you have been tried to be influenced by past presidents. Would you care to expound that? Wag na lang siguro muna. I, I, uh, there is a reason why it has to be as short as that, Lian. Ma'am, let's talk about decentralization. For the viewers, ito yung arkaw na naririnig nila pa ulit-ulit sa House of Representatives. It's the Regional Court Administration Office. Would you want to explain to the people kung ano po yung decentralization, why you pushed for it, why it's important? Everywhere you go, Lian, all the lower courts say, ang tagal ng delivery ng aming office supplies. Ang tagal ng pag-approve ng ma aming mga administrative leaves. Ang tagal ng processing ng aming hinihingi sa Padre Faura. Then, ibig sabihin, decentralization is a must. And it was approved by the court and bank during the time of Chief Justice Davide. So, it is just in keeping with uh, the desire of the end bank that this move uh, arose. And uh, I don't think the end bank has ever wavered from the desire to decentralize. It's halted now, ma'am, because of the issue um, raised by Justice De Castro. And one of the things she said in the House hearing is that you put someone else in charge instead of the Office of the Court Administrator, which is headed by Court Administrator Maidas Marquez. To be able to proceed with the project, do you consider putting him back in charge, Arkal? Ano na yan? Details na yan ng impeachment, no? So uh, let's not uh, dwell on that because there is a right time for that to be answered. Ma'am, if I can push another, ano po yung response nyo sa sinabi ni Justice Hardaleza that you were the one who committed treason when you tried to exclude him from the shortlist of the JBC? Uh, siguro 
magandang sa Senate natin. Ma fully, uh, ma fully clarify yung mga issues na binabato ng ibang tao. Mung this happened kasi mung 2014, if I'm not mistaken, since then, three years since hindi pa po ba kayo nagkausap ni Justice Hardaleza? Uh, no, I have to talk with everybody. It is required of me to talk with everybody. I have to do it. Otherwise, paano aandar ang court? Mom, there was also an issue of you advising Justice Reyes not to pay a courtesy call on the president. <laughs> what was the wisdom po behind that? Alam mo, siguro, when we have the right to cross-examine, Kasi one-sided ito, di ba? It's obviously one-sided. I re requested that I be heard through my lawyers. They should be asked to clarify certain questions, certain, uh, certain uh, uh, measures that should have en ensured a fuller picture. We have seen denial of those measures. Now that the Senate is a trial type proceeding where both sides will need to be heard. I think you will get a fuller picture of that. Yung context and everything else, that will come out very clearly. And I assure the public, very clearly. Um, you've mentioned in an earlier interview that you put so much value in your independence that you did, don't think of um, arranging an audience with the president or things like that. Can you explain po why it's so important to preserve the independence? Uh, the Chief Justice must not only be genuinely independent, she must also bear the appearance of genuine independence. So it is important to me that people not surmise or speculate regarding any private audience I may have with the President. So I will deal with him professionally in the form that the Constitution contemplates so that no citizen will ever suspect that I am in the business of entering into deals.